people say, well, I'll sell you goods in bitcoins, but they change the price of those every time the price of the dollar changes in relation to the bitcoin. They're pricing off the dollar. They could say, well, I'll sell it to you in barrels of oil, but if they every time the price of oil changes, they change the number of barrels you have to have. That's not, your, your oil is not the currency. You'd think that Warren Buffett's history would speak for itself, but when it comes to cryptocurrency, Bitcoin being what he mentions primarily, Mr. Buffett has no interest in it at all. He is asked about it to no end, and his answers are always the same. Some crypto investors would take it personal, but that's not the driving force behind his thought process. It may be wise to hear Warren out, especially if you have any vested interest in Bitcoin. Here are five reasons why Warren Buffett doesn't like Bitcoin. 5. Go for what you know Warren Buffett gives some of, if not the best investment advice and strategy. He has a method that has stood the test of time and served him well. One of his greatest investment lessons is, never invest in something that you just don't understand. Warren really loves a hands-on and straightforward approach. With Bitcoin, there is no real clear-cut roadmap to a measure of success. What are the mechanics of Bitcoin exactly? Warren does not hold the method of mining in high regard because it is confusing, and the way it is so deregulated as far as network function, and that goes for those that consider themselves to be tech-savvy. So is there any wonder why Buffett shoots it to the left so hard? Warren has been in the business and very, very successful in it. Warren has continued to repeat the same thing. He believes that cryptocurrencies will end very badly. It does create a rising price does create more buyers and people think I've got to get in on this and, and it's better if they don't understand it. That's the other thing about not if you don't understand it, you get much more excited than if you understand it. I mean, if you buy a bond that says she's going to pay you 4% a year, you're not going to get any pleasant surprises. <laughs> she's going to pay you 4% a year. Of course, he has no clue when this will happen, which makes it much worse. He is content with following the same steps as always. He makes it a rule to only invest in what he knows and Buffett will never risk money by shorting cryptocurrencies either. I know this, if I could buy long-term puts, if I could buy a five-year put on every one of the cryptocurrencies, I'd be glad to do it, but I would never short a dime's worth. In 2018, he told CNBC, I get into enough trouble with things I think I know something about. Hey, why in the world would I take a long or short position in something I don't know anything about? Number four. Reputation matters. When it comes to cryptocurrencies in general, there are the questions of the ethics and professionalism involved. Is there any way to quantify the illegal activity that Bitcoin facilitates? The dispute on this aspect spreads far and wide in the financial community. Its affairs with the dark net, marketplaces like Silk Road, does not enhance its reputation in any way. Bitcoin's image has not been totally stellar so far for money laundering, trafficking, stolen goods, scams, and even the recent reports that it was used to finance terror organizations make it easy to see why Buffett would be so apprehensive. Buffett has been very staunch about not putting Berkshire Hathaway's reputation in any jeopardy. With no toleration for that, Warren falls back on one of his tried and truisms. Lose money for the firm, and I will be understanding. Lose a shred of reputation for the firm, and I will be ruthless. In the past, Buffett has traded blows with Bitcoin's reputation for financing criminal activities. In 2019, Buffett told CNBC Bitcoin only had one contribution to the country's economy, and it's the lack of demand for suitcases. Warren said that the days of the locked suitcases stuffed with money were no longer necessary, with no need of lugging them around. Because these criminals can just use Bitcoin. For Buffett, the appeal just keeps dropping, and serious investors should be very wary. Number 3. Speculation versus Investment Buffett has said many times that Berkshire Hathaway's favorite holding period is forever. He warns investors sternly not to even think about buying Berkshire stocks unless they can hold it for at least five years. Much of Berkshire Hathaway's vast wealth was built on holding huge stakes in south-hearted companies, such as Coca-Cola and American Express, for so many decades. Buffett says that Bitcoin isn't exactly a buy-and-hold investment. The price is pretty unreliable. In 2017, the price took off to reach 1,950%, with a price of nearly $20,000. 
but by Q1 of 2019, it had tanked nearly 85% of its value. Then it bounced out of 2019, being up 80% higher. Buffett's commentary on Bitcoin isn't all bad. Warren says it's completely fine if you want to buy yourself some Bitcoin, just don't call it investing. So it's not really Buffett's aim to discourage those looking for their fortune in cryptocurrencies. Buffett told Yahoo Finance in 2018, If you want to gamble, somebody else will come along and pay more money tomorrow. That's one kind of game, but that is not investing. Buffett really doesn't like Bitcoin, does he? Number two, a fruitless tree. Buffett's distaste for Bitcoin or any cryptocurrencies is the same reason he's not hot about gold. Despite the gossip, Buffett never bought any gold whatsoever. He merely states that they don't produce anything. For Warren Buffett, his assets need to be highly productive because he, as stated earlier, he looks for value in holding. His stock investments are issued by corporations that have higher production with something of value. Furthermore, in that process, they will produce greater earnings and dividends for the shareholders. Or he'll also invest in real estate. Granted, a portion of vacant land cannot produce, but you can build apartment buildings and produce sufficient income by charging rent. Bitcoin has extreme limitations despite being intended as a digital currency. Its real use as a payment system remains within those extreme limitations. Buffett believes Bitcoin's inherent value exists, but that is only because the person buying it is holding on to the whim that they'll be able to resell it for even more at some point. The worst thing you can do is to dump into that money pit. Buffett has not changed his position on that. But it's dependent on somebody else wanting to buy, hoping they will sell it for more money and so on. The Bitcoin has produced nothing and, uh, and you, you have people entering at X and other people exiting at X and the people who came in at a half X or five. You can, have, you can have stocks and you don't have to do anything with them and they earn money for you as you go along. It's a whole different phenomenon. One could easily assume that Bitcoin beef is just something that is only Warren Buffett specific. But that is where you would be wrong. Among his fellow board members at Berkshire and Hathaway, Bill Gates and Charlie Munger have expressed that neither one of them was too hyped about Bitcoin. Bill Gates was quoted as saying that he would short Bitcoin if it was easier to do so. Charlie Munger, a veteran finance wizard, added that Bitcoin was the new worthless artificial gold. Number one, Buffett can't short it. Warren Buffett has amassed a lot of sweet loot by his shorting of company stocks that did not hit anyone's radar, and that could explain a lot to a certain extent. If you think about it though, Bitcoin's crazy volatility could be seen as both a weakness and a strength. This is likely to be the answer people offer up if you were to ask, why does Warren Buffett hate Bitcoin? Well, due to its unpredictable nature, Buffett can't really short Bitcoin. So now we understand two things. One, that he finds Bitcoin to be unsuitable for long-term investing. And two, he can't short it. That is Buffett's go-to. And for someone like Buffett, it would make it complete for him to hate it. Shorting is still a great option and that pays well with time invested. Well, folks, we appreciate you watching. What do you think about the wisdom of Warren Buffett? Is he right, or does he just need to get on with the times? Let us know in the comments. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the closing bell for notifications.